Hi, I'm Lee Herbert, and in this video, I want to take you through some of the cool, exciting new features that have been released in Final Cut 10.5.3. Now, the first one, I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am, because I have been nagging Apple for this feature for a long, long time. So, here in the browser, when you're looking through your footage, these columns, it used to be that with Final Cut, if you customize these columns, if I just right click on any of the column names, there's all the columns that I can add and remove. It used to be that when you customize that, when you close Final Cut and open up Final Cut up again, it forgot what you did. So first of all, Apple has fixed that. So now when you close Final Cut and open up Final Cut again, it remembers where you were. But even better than that, and this is, I know I'm gushing a bit here with Apple, but they're so good at, they don't just fix what you want them to fix, they make it better than you wanted. You can now save custom sort of profiles for your columns. And this is really useful for when you're doing different things in Final Cut. So for example, when I'm editing content for an interview, what I might need is, I don't need my start, my end, that's fine, I don't really care about that. I do want my media duration, I do want my content credit, I do want to look at my camera angles, I need my video rolls, my camera name, all that kind of stuff. And other than that, I might need my scene. So I can now set that and I can go save custom set as and I'll call this interview set and save it but then when I'm editing b-roll I don't really care about the camera angle I don't really care about the notes I don't really care about the video rolls or the audio rolls but then what I do care about is the frame size and the frame Right, and they've also added some features here. So you can also look at proxy codecs or original codecs. And what's really cool about that is if you want to copy your project and send it to someone else, it's really easy to find all your proxy files and all of your codec files just by using this. So I can just go and select those. And yep, let me just get rid of the inspector by going Command 4. And now you can see it's added which ones are my proxy files, which ones are my original. I can see the codec that's been used. I can see which ones are high frame rate and which ones are 4K. So I know with my B-roll what I can slow down, what I can't really slow down because it was only shot at 25 frames per second. If I can crop in a lot, all that kind of stuff. And I can then just right click on any of the column names, say save as custom set, and I can call this B-roll set. And you're done. I cannot begin to tell you how excited I am about this feature. I know it's small. I know it doesn't seem that exciting. But let me tell you, it's going to make your life so much easier when you're searching with stuff and looking through your columns. The other feature I want to look at is a couple of things that Final Cut has added in the custom search box. Because now you can search for notes in a file. So for example, there's a few shots here that I set as ruins. And you can see here that I set up a keyword, but what if I was using notes? So for example, I've put a note in there um, explaining ruins, but if I just type in ruins, it goes ahead and finds it, and it doesn't have the keyword ruins applied to it, but if I go into the inspector and go to the notes tab, you can see pull focus of ruins. So you can search for notes now as well. You can also search for markers. So for example, I've got one of these shots where I've applied a marker, and I think I called it delivery yeah because there was a, a, a slow-mo shot where I put a marker in where there's the delivery guy just coming into the delivery so I can find the shot just by a marker that I've applied now of course you could use keywords for some of this as well but think of it from this point of view keywords are like your overall arching way of organizing your clips but then this gives you more minuscule sort of smaller finite ways of organizing and finding your clips but wait there's more to go even more refined if you come over to the search option here next to search you can click on that and you can say instead of searching for all your text you only want to search your notes your names or your markers and you can go even deeper than that with the column settings so if you right click on any of the column settings and then come down to edit available columns you can go through here and you can add almost any option of columns you want and you also come down to this button in the bottom and you can uncheck all or check all so you can start from scratch You've also got the settings one, where you can set up new column, duplicate the current column, or delete a column set, so on and so forth. You can see here's the two that I've created, and there's the default one. You can even make it easier for yourself to find things by using these subsets. You can go, right, well, only show me spotlight properties, and it'll only show you the spotlight options of your, of your browser options. 
pretty cool, right? So those are the two features that I'm most excited about in Final Cut, being able to organize and save your columns in the browser and being able to search for markers and notes in Final Cut Pro 10.5.3. I hope this was useful. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll uh, catch you next time.